everybody, what is going on? It is the Unknown Gamer here, and today what you're going to be watching is some Blitz gameplay, and I believe this is going to be just a regular 8's lobby, but it's kind of competitive, because you'll see that I go for some sneak caps, and it ends up going down to the wire, and you'll get to find out how it ends, because I found it pretty entertaining. But today I want to give you guys a bit of a commentary topic, and it's going to be something a, bit, a little bit on the cuckoo side, on the cray cray side of things, and that's going to be about crazy drivers. Now I'm going to give you some personal experiences and a generalization of drivers in general. Now, that was kind of weird, but basically in Texas, Houston, Texas, where I live in that area, there's a lot of crazy drivers in downtown Houston that go to work every day. There are a lot of crazy drivers, and it seems like the crazy drivers are usually the ones that complain about crazy drivers the most. That's the one thing I've noticed. Like, you'll be like, I'm tired of all these bad drivers, and you're over there cutting off three lanes and not turning, putting on your turn signals and stuff like that. And I find that to be pretty funny. Personally, um, I've driven before. Uh, I actually enjoy driving, but I'm sure when I'm older I won't enjoy it so much. But right now, you know, I'm a kid, so I enjoy driving, and I think it's fun. And I've driven before, I've gotten some practice, and I understand the difference between driving crazily and driving, uh, you know, regular, quote-unquote. And what I've learned over time is most of your drivers are pretty selfish. They're thinking more or less about themselves rather than, you know, along the lines of the other drivers on the road. And personal stories of mine that have to do with crazy drivers, um... My mom can be a crazy driver sometimes, but she's more of the type of driver that's not so crazy. But, like, she'll do some stupid stuff sometimes. She's actually ran a red light, and, you know, you're gonna be like, oh, that's not a big deal. But, like, she ran a red light. She was like, I haven't done that in seven years. And I was like, wow, mom, good job. Um, just a lot of different things. Uh, one of the most easiest things I can talk about for crazy drivers in uh, my life is actually... My friend Pavel, um, I really shouldn't be saying specific names, but we'll call him, uh, we're gonna call him Chip. I already said his name, but whoever knows him, forget about the name. So my friend Chip has a sister, and his sister can be a bit of a crazy driver. Um, I'm pretty sure she'd be willing to admit that, and Chip has this sister that complains about other crazy drivers when she's one of the crazy drivers herself. But like, can you really blame her for being hypocritical? Because I'm pretty sure this is something everybody does. I mean, it's a common misconception if two different people think that they're doing the right thing, and in reality they both make a mistake, it ends up having them both blame it on each other. And when that happens, you're blaming it on each other, you're going back and forth at each other, and it turns into something like the blame game. And that's how wrecks happen, where you're like, I turned on my turn signal, why was merging into the right lane? And then, you know, it's not, it's not gonna be a good time. So, she's a crazy driver. One of the most recent things I could actually say, I can quote this on her, is we were going to school, uh, we were going to my high school, and in the morning, there was like a whole group of cars coming at the stop sign we were at, and she was like, am I ballsy? Yeah, I'm ballsy, and she just smashes on the gas and then cuts right across all the cars and turns into uh, the lane across, and it was just funny. Like, it's a lot of fun. Crazy drivers aren't necessarily something I would recommend being with, but I guess it's, you know, all fun and games until you lose your head or you get into a car accident or something along those lines. So, I don't know. Those are just my thoughts on crazy drivers, some stories that I have to tell. My mom running a red light, um, you know, not that that's necessarily a big deal, although it is. And then my friend Chip's sister that likes to speed on highways and go way faster than what we should be. Actually, I have one more story to include along with this because this is something even more recent that I just now remembered. So we were on the highway, or Highway 6 I think it's called, and we were on Highway 6 and we were trying to not necessarily race this truck, but like we were trying to beat them obviously, but we weren't going like over like 80 miles an hour. We were going like 75 miles an hour, something along those lines. And this truck really wanted to win, really wanted to win. And this is probably the scariest thing I've seen in a while. What happened was the truck took off in the right lane. It just sped down. I swear he went at least 95 to 110 miles an hour. 
Um, cause we were going about 80, I think, and they just took off and all of a sudden some other, uh, Mexican dude's truck pulled into that lane and he was going extra slow. And what ended up happening was the truck sped right past him. I literally thought that the truck was going to have to smash on the brakes and crash. But what ended up happening was since he was in the far right lane, the truck sped up even more and cut in between a car that was in the middle and then the truck that was uh, going really slow. And it was just really intense. It was like one of those what the fuck moments. And overall, it was kind of a crazy experience with some crazy drivers. So I hope you all did enjoy today's commentary topic about some cuckoo drivers, personal stories I got to tell, some of my thoughts and opinions on it. I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of the video. Remember to leave a like if you did enjoy. Leave a dislike if you didn't really like it. Let me know why down in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment what you think about crazy drivers. And look at that. 7 to 7. See you tomorrow. Peace.